I can I be talking about um how I got good music and shit. Don't nobody give a fuck. <laughs> hey, people don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? People don't like you until they like you. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what the fuck it is. So I post all day long and all of this shit, and it don't matter until it matters to somebody. I mean, it matters to me, so I'm going to keep doing it. But on a bigger scale, man, motherfuckers don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, man. They don't give a fuck. And I mean, I'm not mad at them. That, that, I'm not upset that they don't give a fuck. I would appreciate it if they did, if you guys did. But I mean, hey, man, you can't force motherfuckers to do shit because it's shit that I don't like. That You know what I'm saying? Or artists that I didn't like immediately, but eventually grew on me. And I, you know, became like the hard fans of them. Some of them, you know. Anybody that I like, I can appreciate them forever. You know, even if they only made one record I like, you know, I still can find a way to appreciate them forever. Because you did that, man. You had that magic moment, man. But I can understand a person not embellishing in the magic moments when they when they gotta work and shit and they they looking at it like, man, I don't have none of the perks that, that comes with a being a bending having accomplished a feat such as this is having a hit record. But whew, so I don't know, man. It's just it's just one of those things, man. Timing is, is everything and you know having your shit together is everything too but you know you just can't force shit to be you gotta wait for shit to line up and work for you but you do have to have your shit together you know you gotta have your shit together my shit is together so when the world decides to come and fuck with me hey man I got something for you I'm putting in the work right now and laying down the groundwork to not just be a fly by night artist but to be an artist you can grow with Somebody you can grow and learn from You know what I'm saying Not just a simple Rapping the rap shit Social commentary But great beats and music I'm gonna take you on a bass journey Every album Damn near every record is a bass journey But uh I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have some great content To go along with it Some great true factual stories it don't all have to be actual, but as long as it's factual, we're working with something. Because there's people out here that look that's looking for good music and looking for something they, that, that they can grow from. And this is it. I have that. I have that growth that you're looking for. I have it. You don't want to listen to music that is telling you or is kicking ideas to you that you're already familiar and comfortable with. You want to listen to something that challenges what you think about life. I want to give you a perspective on music that makes you question things. Not like, you know, not, not nothing major deep. Not nothing deep like that, but you know, Something that'll make you go deep in thought about things that's right in our face. Porn, I talk about that one a lot. But there's other subjects on the album that I don't talk about because I want to keep it under wraps, you know. But yeah, man, like porn. Nobody really talks about it. I mean, it's kind of like a, a known unknown that everybody watches the shit. But I'm giving a different perspective on it to make you look at it totally different. And you be the judge whether it's good, bad, or what. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a straight journalist. As, a, as being an artist, it's like journalism. Sometimes I paint the narrative to go the way I want them to go. But I, 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 I work on and I strive to just tell the facts. You dig? I strive to just tell the facts and not get caught up in emotion and feelings about it. That way, you could make good music and you pick the side of facts of facts factual actual factual 
stuff, you know? So it's not like I'm just straddling the fence. I'm not straddling the fence at all. I'm for what I'm for, and I'm against what the fuck I'm against. And this, and, it, and, and in my music, you're going to know that right away. It's no straddling the fence with me. But I want to stay objective regardless to how I feel. Especially on a lot of things. You can never know everything about everything. But I want to know a little something about everything. I want to be familiar with everything, you know. Abreast me with everything that you think I may not know about. Even if I feel like I know something, man, still pull my coattail and tell me what it is from your perspective. I want to understand how you looking at it. And that's how I look at the shit, you know. And that's how I make my music. It's mostly objective, but it's narrative painting. It's narrative painting in that motherfucker too, because a lot of narratives need to be painted and need to be reversed. The world is backwards, so a lot of things need to be reversed. And the only things that I'm trying to reverse are the things that are very detrimental to us as people. It's keeping us locked the fuck down, you dig? It's not about being locked down. It's about being free. Free your mind. And sometimes I just have to get away from everybody to be free. Because everybody got an opinion about something. And sometimes opinions ain't needed. You just need to be objective about anything. You know what I'm saying? Why form an opinion about something? Why can't you just look at what it is? Just looking at it and observe it for what it is. Not feel no kind of way about shit. And then you might have a motherfucker around that's constantly... You know what I'm saying? Making decisions on shit. Man, fuck that. Nah, that shit ain't this. Man, this, this, this is that. This is this and this is that. Nah, man. Fuck all of that. Just look at it. This is a cat walking down the street. Yes, we, this is a cat. Man, I don't fuck with them kind of cats. Man, them cats is this. Them cats is that. Nah, nigga. It's just a fucking cat walking down the street. That's what I mean. Not complicate shit, man. Just looking at what it is. You don't have to judge every fucking thing. I mean, you can, but why? Why waste your time? So, yeah, my music is perspective music. Very objective perspectives on things. But I'm bringing you content that you may not hear on the news or nothing, man. I'm digging into old stuff. I go back and research topics for my own pleasure. I find pleasure in it. You know what I'm saying? Researching content. Not to get on YouTube and be a fucking guru. Who gives a shit? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care about that. If you think I'm smart, pay me some goddamn money. Then I start getting the ego about it, you know? But other than that, man, I don't give a fuck. Nobody is going to praise me because I know something. We got the fucking internet. You can find out any fucking thing. You could be a guru too. Who gives a shit? Even with the internet and all of that, it is still things people are afraid to talk about. I'm not. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to shine a light on that shit. Bring it to the forefront. And we need to have dialogue about it. Hey, man, let's talk about this. Let's talk about, you know, molestation in the black community. Because I'm a black person. So let's talk about this in the black community. If you want to start changing the world, you need to start at home. You need to start at home. A lot more black people need to understand that. So yeah, man. We're going to talk about what the fuck going on in the world. Because it's, it's more important to talk about these social issues than to be talking about how we having a fucking good time. I don't want to get on record and be creative to show you how I'm having a good time. I'm not having a good time. Half the time, I'm pissed the fuck off. That this some fucking bullshit. Life is bullshit. They have you jumping through all these goddamn hoops. Man, fuck that. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? 
you got to recognize and, and, and admit it. It is a ruling class out this motherfucker. And they not black people. Who knows what they are? We do know what they are, but we just saying. This ain't no racism shit. The way we picking at white people, Mexicans, Latinos, Asians, or none of that shit. You dig? We have to recognize, though, black people's been on the fucking bottom of the totem pole for who knows how long, for whatever reason. And we also have to recognize every time black people get to a point to where they can be their own boss and don't have to worry about depending on somebody else for resources, they come and shut that shit down. Who are they? Whoever, I don't know who the fuck they are to point the finger at them. You can't say the government. You can't say the fucking Illuminati because that would be stupid to say. But you have to recognize that it is somebody. It is a person or some people who see that black people are finna be like every other ethnic group and have their shit together. And then, you know, they come and destroy that shit. They come and destroy that shit. So I'm making music about that. I'm making music uh, strictly about all of the shit that y'all not talking about. The fucking oppression that the world is under. This fucking vaccine shit. COVID-19. It's no way in the world that illnesses and all of this shit just come out of the motherfucking blue. It's no way that all of this shit just comes out of the blue. It's no way. It's no way. And I'm the artist that's gonna let his listeners know, hey, hey guys, I don't know if you are woke or not, but hey, listen to what I'm saying and process it. If you do not get it right now, or understand it, it's okay. Let it marinate and it'll grow on you. It will. But you need this food for thought. This shit'll never get old. This shit'll never be old. Because it's real. Marvin Gaye records being played right now. Because of what he said in the records. They playing uh, Let's Get It On right now, too. But you know what else they playing? They playing Let's Get It On, and they playing What's Going On. What's going on? Hey, motherfuckers still asking that same question. What the fuck is going on out here? COVID-19, the vaccine, quarantine. Hey, look at all them teens, goddamn. What the hell they got going on? COVID-19? Quarantine, vaccine, <laughs> hospital, Yeah, it's a lot of shit going on out here. It's a lot of shit going on. We may not be privy to all of the shit that's going on, but it's some shit going on. But my music gonna let you know. My music gonna let you know. My music is gonna let you know. My music is gonna be. A motherfucking coattail puller on, on, on things. I'm telling you, because it's a lot of shit going on. A lot of underhanded shit. A lot of underworld shit going on. Anything that's harming people, I'm going to talk about it. I'm not talking about things that's going to fuck people's money up. It's not about that. But if you doing things that's harming people, I'm going to talk about that shit. Because it need to be a motherfucking uh, whistle blowed on your funky ass. Coattail pulling music, baby. Plasma is a coattail pulling record. You know what I'm saying? What they doing with that plasma? They telling you they making a medicine with that shit, but you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You don't know, man. Because you have to recognize it's a power structure that goes on with this thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a hierarchy that controls a lot of things. And just look at the hood. The dope man control the hood. You know what I'm saying? Whoever got the most money likely gonna have the most power and they gonna be running the motherfucking show. And everything come to them first. And then they delegate it out how they choose and see fit. The same thing goes on 
in the world with information with everything man this technology shit a lot of this technical shit been going on but we just now being introduced to it motherfuckers is spoon feeding us with a lot of shit there's nothing new under the sun so ain't none of this shit new but oof Ain't no gurus out here. Anything you want to know, you can find that shit out. It's here to be found out. But we'll see how it goes.